you're here already. Oh, do excuse me for one minute whilst I continue to open the cranky theatre. Mm. Oh, this curtain is so heavy. Oh. How does that look? Hmm. There. That's better. Salamat. Salamat datang. Welcome. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Noor from the country of Indonesia. I teach at the university in Jakarta on the island of Java. I am here today to present an introduction to Wayang Kulit, Javanese shadow puppetry of Indonesia. Our first task is to find out where in the world is Indonesia. And for that, we need a map. Indonesia is a country in Asia. Now, the fastest way I know getting from here to Asia is by taking a plane. We will fly from North America there. Here's our plane. We will leave from Boston. Now, in the real world, we would fly west to get from North America to Asia. But here we are in cranky world, and so we must travel east. Hold on. So here we are flying over the Atlantic Ocean. We will fly over Europe until we find Asia. There's Asia. What a large continent. Oh, oh dear. Well, now we have to find in Asia the southeast corner to find Indonesia. So we will follow our arrow and zoom in nice and close. And here we see Indonesia is south of China and northwest of Australia. We see it here in red. Indonesia is an archipelago consisting of over 17,000 islands. Did, did you hear what I said? Over 17,000 islands. Can you imagine how many islands that is? Neither can I. But of the 17,000 islands, only 6,000 are inhabited. Now of the 6,000 inhabited islands, this one right here is the island of Java. And that is the birthplace of Wayang Kulit, born thousands of years ago. Wayang is a word that means shadow. It also has come to be known as puppet. Kulit is a word that means skin. Therefore, Wayang Kulit means shadow puppets made from skin. Skin of the water buffalo. I heard that. Don't you make a face about skin of water buffalo. Why, you wear leather shoes and fancy leather boots. And who doesn't like the stylishness of a nice leather jacket? Mm. Well, that leather that you wear that is from skin, skin of cow. So you see, making puppets from the skin of water buffalo is really not much different. Each puppet is hand cut and perforated and painted. 
It takes about one month to make one puppet. Now, why paint a puppet that's only going to be seen in shadow, you ask? Well, that's a good question. You see, during the Wailang Kuli performance, the audience gets to choose where to sit to see the performance. They can sit in front of the screen and see it in shadow, or they can sit behind the screen where the puppeteer and the musicians sit. That way, they can see the colorful beauty of the puppets in action. The stories of the Wayang come from religious texts, Javanese legends, and folk tales. Mostly, they are stories about good versus evil. And you can easily tell which puppets are the good guys and which are the bad guys by the way they look. So let's look a little more closely at these puppets to figure out who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. This puppet here, that is Sita. Notice her body is very slender and refined. Her eyes are almond shaped and her nose is very small and pointy. Those are the characteristics of a good and noble character. Notice how she looks downward. That shows her humility, a trait highly prized by Indonesians. Also, her face is painted white. Now, in Wayang Kulit, a white painted face means the character is young and pure. Here we have Rama. He is a prince. Notice that he also has a slender body and refined features. Now he and Sita love each other and eventually they do get married. His eyes are almond shaped. His nose is small and pointy. He is definitely guy. He is also looking downward, showing humility. His face, though, is painted black. In the Waihang, a black face indicates the character is either mature or possibly angry. we have the character of Ravana. Look how much bigger he is than Rama or Sita. The bigger the body, the stronger and meaner the character. And the red in his face tells us he is tempestuous and stormy. Notice Ravana's eyes are round and bulging and his nose big and bulbous. Those show us that he is not a good character. Can you see his teeth? There they are. No good guy would ever show their teeth. No. Ravana is definitely a no good demon king. Now this puppet here, this is the tree of life. And you will see the tree of life at the beginning and the end of every Wayang Kuli performance. You will also see it appear in between scenes to let the audience know that there is a change in the scene. performance is always accompanied by gamelan music. Can you hear that? Neither can I. Sound engineer, sound engineer, cue up the gamelan music now please.
That is the sound of Javanese gamelan music. Music of the Javanese court. Very calm, peaceful. But not always. No. You see, there are many scenes that are very exciting in the Wayang Kuli performance. Battle scenes and fights and arguments. And, and when that happens, the music becomes very loud and exciting too. Precious sea 
Sita in one fight. And now I'm going to eat you, Rama. Cut! Take five. Good job, boys. Good job. Go take a break. Be back in five. Oh, why I'm coolied. Such an ancient art form and tradition. And still so much fun to watch after all these thousands of years. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Wayang Kulit, Javanese shadow puppetry of Indonesia. Jumpa lagi. Until we meet again. <laughs>